uh, with the halachot of tzitzit, but transitioning to halachot of tefillin. So we put on the talit before we put on the tefillin. And there's numerous reasons for this. First of all, the tefillin are tashmishe kedusha. They have the name of HaKadosh Baruch Hu written on the scrolls, and therefore they are holier than the tzitzit, the tzitzit are tashmishe mitzvah. Tashmishe kedusha are holier, and therefore we always have a little thing back to Hanukkah, we add a light every single night because ma'alin ba'kodesh v'lo moridin. So first you put on the tzitzit, tashmishe mitzvah, and then you go on to a higher level, you put on the tefillin. That's the point that we did that first. Another explanation of why you put on the tzitzit first is because we put on the tzitzit actually more often than we put on the tefillin. And whenever there's a conflict of which one to do first, you always go by the one which is more frequent. And we put on tzitzit talit, even on Shabbat and Yom Tov, days where we don't wear the tefillin. So that goes first. The Arizal brings down Kafahaim and Benishai, that our piece so the, the Sodot of the Torah also, there's a reason why the Tzitzit have to come first. And it goes so far as to say that if a person by mistake put on the Tefillin, he didn't have a Talit. And then the Talit shows up, he, according to the Arizal, he has to actually take off the Tefillin and put on the Talit so he can be first and then put on the Tefillin. Again, that's not how the Kharma said, but our piece so there is reason to put on the Tzitzit first as well. That's the explanation. The Benish Hai brings down that the word tzitzit is actually an acronym. Sadi Yud Sadi Taf. What does it mean? Siva Hashem Tzitzit Tehila. Siva Hashem Tzitzit Tehila. The Kadosh Baruch Hu commanded that we should put on the tzitzit first. Sadi Yud Sadi Tet. That we should put on the tzitzit first. This is relevant that we, everybody does everything there. You can't be put on the talit first. But it's relevant to another halacha also, which is how do you situate, how do you position your talit and your tzitzit in your talit bag? The rule is that since you have to put on the tzitzit first, you have to make sure that that's the first item that you encounter. When I open my talit bag, I have to make sure that my tzitzit, my talit, are the first thing that I, that I come across, that I encounter. If I put my talit underneath my tefillin, and my tefillin on top, then it could be a problem. Because when I, by, by nature, when I open up the bag, the first thing I'm going to see is the tefillin. It's a problem. Ein ma'avirin ala mitzvot. So therefore, a person has to be careful to put, position his talit in such a way, either that's on top of the tefillin, that way the first thing you will reach, the first thing you will encounter is your talit. Or what you could do is, if you have, if you have the setup, you can put your, ta- your tefillin way deep in the bag. And that way the first thing, when you open up the bag of tefillin and talit, the first thing will be the talit. So therefore, tomorrow we'll discuss with Hashem, actually probably Sunday, um, what to do in case you by mistake encounter the tefillin first. But lechad a person should position his talit in the, in the bag in such a way that the talit is the first thing that you encounter. Make sure you don't put your tefillin on top because that's going to be otherwise the first thing you encounter is going to be a problem.